What is up? Welcome. You're here with me, Mr. C. This is Brothers Forge Gaming, and we got a hot new game from Eric Games bringing it to us. This thing is awesome, you guys. They're really stepping up their game and bringing us some excellent games. Man, this thing is powered by Unity as well, so congratulations, you guys, stepping it up, bringing it up to us. Jigsaw Tetra. Now, you get that Tetra in the name, you're thinking to yourself, Tetra, eh? So there are some different modes here, as you can see, and you Platinum Trophy Hunters out there, you got a good one for you here. It's a, it's a pretty easy Platinum to get. It takes a little bit of time, and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to do that. I'm going to break it down for you right here. But before that, let's take a look at the single Jigsaw Tetra. Okay, so you get some different maps here. You get radio on how you do, how many you missed, how many you might not get. You can choose between different uh, genres here that you want. You can do random classical, you can pick it up. I usually just do random. Now here is where it's gonna get you. If you're going for the platinum, um, you have to do specific sizes on here. You can go all the way up to 12 by 12. Uh, the trophies are for like four, five, and six, and usually on like easy, medium, and hard. So there's some hacks you can do here to skip and bypass some steps. If you want to go right for the hard mode, you go right to the, you know, the hard on the bigger puzzle. Uh, we're going to break down the trophy list for you here in a minute. So we'll just do the classic size four by four on here and show you how that goes. Play. So as you can see, Tetris in the name jamming it down as fast as you can so you can slam it into place it's pretty cool being able to do that so you gotta not only keep an eye on uh, you know you don't get a next piece like you do but you know i think a lot of ex expert tetris players don't use next piece some of them you gotta rotate some of them you gotta flip oh that must have went on top so i totally screwed that one up but yeah as you're coming down you know you can see it draining you can go here oh uh, no what oh get it get it right so you're trying to go for uh, speed time you know you can drain them down Super cool game now. So what I recommend for you is, uh, it, it made it kind of not probably as interesting as it could have been. You can do it, of course, however you would like. But I went and I just did the same puzzle over and over because some of the ones, you know, they get a little bit harder. And the more you repetition on being able to, you know, do that same one, you can do it. There's verse. So how does that work? Does that work online? Let's check out. Let's see. So here you go. It looks like. Okay, so this is Couch Co-op Verse. You can do Verse a bot. So essentially it's the same thing, right? Um, where you are, and so easy, medium, hard, you can pick that. So here you go, you're up against the bot and you're seeing who can get there the fastest. So you don't even have to drag it down. You can just drop it if you wanna go even faster. I didn't even realize that. So yeah, you can just tear it down. I mean, this thing, oh, I missed. This thing is pretty cool, you guys. So uh, I'm not sure what it is on sale, but we have on our community tab right now, you did the wrong one. Uh, you can get a couple codes. First come, first serve. We have a few uh, codes for free download right now. Oh, I messed it up again. It goes here. Okay, so this one here, jamming down, you know, with that. You just gotta look for the clues. You gotta look for the clues on that corner pieces, of course. Oh, I missed. There it is, there it is. Okay, so you know, you're looking for the different clues. You got the snake, you got the edges, you know, edge pieces, how we roll with those edge pieces. It's gotta be there your tail okay so you know as you're seeing it's it's pretty much straightforward the way it goes oh i blew that one here we go that one though gave it to me okay corner piece i'm dusting this this cpu i think i put it on easy i don't even remember but anyway there's different modes for you if you're trying to get uh you know diff based on your skill level or if you just want to be casual or hardcore um you can do that and then of course jigsaw right here is your more traditional map so let's just pick a different map um, just because let's go all the way to a 12 by 12 so you can take a look at that and put it on hard so this is as hard as you can get this is probably like the harder puzzle too man this thing's cool uh, I know a lot of people enjoy puzzle I'm one of them I think puzzling is awesome it's a good way to kind of you know sharpen your mind and your finding skills and things like that so anyway uh, this one's pretty standard right so you whatever your strategy is starting with edge pieces or whatnot you can flip the pieces on these harder modes I think on the easy mode it doesn't allow you or it doesn't you don't need to rotate the pieces so it doesn't allow um you can take a hint i still haven't figured out how to use hint though because uh i pressed the hint button and it doesn't it doesn't really help me so let's see if i rotate that it's yeah so oh i see over here so it's telling you over here this is where you want to put the piece so it doesn't even count against you if you put it in the wrong spot it looks like let's see what the hell i can't get it in there like this no 
So the the mapping is a little off. That's weird, right? I don't know what's going on with that. So maybe I'm twisting it the wrong way. It's telling me some reason I can't line it up exactly. So okay, on harder on these bigger pieces, you really have to get it in there. Whereas um, so it kind of auto goes on some of the easier settings on some of the ones I was playing. You get it in the general vicinity and it would go. So let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's go back to that menu. menu. Oh, okay, so I can turn down the menu uh, sound once you get in there. I wasn't sure like how blasting this was. So let's see if I can uh, if I can do that now. <laughs> Just in case it's too blasting for you guys. So sound, music, okay. So you can, you know, you can turn it down. Sound, you can turn down all that different stuff. So uh, I don't know if that helps you in the in the menu here. Hopefully that wasn't blaring over, but I could not find that option. So let's go over the trophy information real quick right here and just give it to you, break it down. So of course you've got your platinum. I wanna say there are what, 12, 13 trophies on here. Okay, so your first one, single mode win a four by four, get the three star rating. So you could see that. So what you would do, you go to the single mode, you pick a puzzle and you you put it on the four by four like we showed, right? So you wanna go four by four on here. Of course, it's not letting me, uh-huh, uh-huh. Go to the four by four. And, and again, you can select it there, what it is. So there's one for single mode, four, four, five, five, and uh, six, six, right? So you go to that. Now uh, there is, once you get to the jigsaw one, it, it's, for beating it on easy, medium, and hard at the at the certain size of the jigsaw. If you skip right to the hard, it does count for each of those three, uh, you know, trophies that you're going for. So you can skip a step by doing that. You can save some time there. I'm not sure if it works like that for this one on the single mode. So you could skip right to the single mode six by six and see if it works. If not, you may have to do both of those. But there's one for four by four, five by five, six by six, bot versus easy. Beat the bot on easy. Beat the bot on medium. Beat the bot on hard. So again you could potentially save some time if you go straight to verse bot and do hard okay because it's not on any size so you could put it to whatever size you want there on the smaller size and go up against that bot and try to beat them like we showed you on there i don't know if you have to do each one again just skip straight to hard if you want to save some time you may have to go back um, but i do know for jigsaw and there's six of these ones so the jigsaw four by four Easy, medium, and hard. So if you do the Jigsaw 4x4 four by four, four by four mode on hard, you can bypass those other two trophies. And the same thing when you get down to Jigsaw mode 5x5 five five hard. If you just start with that one, uh, you can skip the other two. Uh, my advice to you on this is, like I said, I, I picked the same board over and over just because it made sense to me to uh, you know keep doing the same puzzle because I was familiar with the, where the pieces went and it seemed like it might have saved me some time doing that um, on each of these. So it could have been a little more interesting to do different maps on each one, made it a little harder on myself, uh, but the replay value is here. You can definitely go back and replay these if you feel like doing some puzzle. Uh, Eric Games, you guys did an awesome job with this one. I wanna say thank you again for hooking me up with the download code and for uh, you know the few lucky viewers out there that go grab it. Go check our community tab right now. Be the first person to grab the code. There's a couple codes for each, uh, region and then there's uh, each platform well not each but the playstation and a playstation 5 uh so there's a couple codes in there guys go grab them up thanks for hanging out with us here on brothers forge gaming you've been with here with me mr c jigsaw tetra eric games doing it to it keep on coming back and checking us back for more because you know we're gonna keep bringing it and uh you know score yourself some lucky free codes get yourself your next platinum let's do it thanks for hanging out guys check you next time